guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Oh, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with some of my marble papers. Um, it was a really long time ago. If you don't watch my channel, you you know possibly haven't even seen the video, but my daughter and I made these marbled papers using the shaving foam method. Um, and yeah, I've, I've got loads of them still left. Um, I've used a couple of them, but yeah, I've got lots of them left. So I thought let's come and have a bit of fun with the marbled papers that we've made previously. And maybe some book images. So I've got here some children's book images. I've also got some other ones, but I'm not quite sure whether they're going to be quite suitable. So yeah, I thought let's kind of just mix it up and see see how it goes. So I think what I'm going to do, because this paper is actually now quite messy on the back, although to be honest, some of it's messier than others. This perhaps this isn't too bad. I mean, I've coffee dyed this now. Um, literally just before I switched the camera on I thought I'm going to quickly coffee dye these bits and then they'll be you know much more vintage kind of looking so I'm just going to yeah use this I think in its coffee dyed form because this one actually is not too too bad so I'm just going to make one of those little trifold kind of pieces so we just squish this down like that let me get my scissor handle so just like that and then this one here just squish in there like that now I can't remember what paper I used for this but I think I used actually like the official um like watercolor paper which you know in this particular instance is very very thick um I don't know whether it always is or whether I just bought a really really thick one but yeah it's it's quite a thick one this so I'm thinking we will cut this down across here. Now I just want to check which way is the nicer pattern. So I think this way. So I'm going to cut the bottom down because it's probably a little bit tall at the moment. So like that. Okay, right. Now I made a horrible, horrible job of cutting that. So let's just try and neaten that up a little bit. This is going to be one of those scenarios, I think, where I'm just going to make it worse and worse each time I cut it. And we'll end up with a smaller and smaller pocket. <laughs> right, let's just tear her out. I think this is another one of those Enid Blyton um, images. And I've used these quite often in my journals because I really, really love the, the images. And I really love the fact that they are neutral colour. Because then you really can kind of marry them with anything else, you know, that you've got laying around. You know, you're not restricted at all. So I think, you know, I think they're quite a fun one to use. Now, ordinarily, if I were making one of these fold outs, I would actually probably, sorry, it's, it's going to fold out like this. I would actually probably um, fold this over, but because this is very thick paper, I don't think I'm going to be able to get away with doing that. It would be way, way, way too thick. So I'm just going to fold it down to get sort of my line and then I'm going to cut it. So I just have folded that over so I know roughly where to cut. And then, yeah, I'm just going to go in with my scissors and cut that down. So like that. I could have actually cut that diagonally, but um, torn that, sorry, diagonally, but yeah. <clears throat> oh, how cute does that look on there? She just looks really good, doesn't she, with those kind of colours. So... Just having a look to see what I've got laying around on the desk that I could use here. So I've got some sheet music and things. So let's just see. Yeah, I'm just doing a sort of, you know, in a sort of just grab anything, grab anything kind of mode. So I'm wondering actually whether I might like to have the sheet music in the background. Yeah, I think I might do that. And then let's just see whether we might just have a little tiny bit coming out sort of behind her. So maybe like that. It's quite cute, isn't it? So yeah, I'm just going to glue this down. Right, you'll have to excuse my glue because I have burnt the, um, you know, burnt the end with my hot glue gun. And yeah, this is one that I haven't now put a new lid on yet. So you have to just excuse the um, amount of glue that is going to ooze out. This is not obviously an efficient way to do this at all. And yeah, it would really kind of pay off to actually change the lid. 
but never mind. Right, so I'm just going to have to be super messy and spread it with my finger now. Okay, so just want to go in like that. Now I've had to move it up quite a bit because obviously, oh no, I've stuck this on the wrong way, I just realised. What a wally. Did not occur to me that that was the wrong way round. I, well, it did, weirdly enough, actually. As I was doing it, I thought, well, that's weird. It looks, um, you know, not as patterned music as I thought. Well, that's why, because I obviously did it the wrong way. Oh, well. Never mind. Right, just have to just now, just have to just work with what I've, what I've done. So my mistake that I've made now. Mm, I think it's up this way, but I could well be putting it up the wrong way doesn't really matter the one behind it is um you know on its side completely so I'm sure it's fine so yeah let's put this one down I'm just going to ink around this a little bit so I hope everyone's having a good day maybe doing some crafting having a nice time do let let us know what you're working on I know I say it all the time but you know it is just so helpful to hear what people are working on because you know if you are struggling and you know kind of just yeah struggling for inspiration it's really nice to hear and maybe get some inspiration from each other so right I can't actually see it's not very good lighting here today so I do apologize it's really chucking it down I've only just got back from the school run and um yeah it's it's not the nicest day out there it's got to be said I wonder if that oh let's go because this side's a lot more interesting. It's got a lot more of the music, music notes on it, which is obviously nice. So let's put that down there, like that, okay. Okay, dokie. And then this we will put just on there like that. And then for the decoration, I'm going to kind of build up around her, <coughs> around her. So rather than, you know, putting things underneath her and poking out, we're going to have to build up decoration if we want any around her. Now she's obviously stuck down on the page already. So like that. Okay. Oh, she looks pretty though, doesn't she? I mean, it helps because obviously she's a pretty little girl on the image, isn't she? And um, yeah, that obviously always helps if it's a nice looking image in the first place. So I've got a little label piece. Mm. Well, maybe we'll have the label piece up there, actually. That's quite nice. So. Oops, okie dokie. I can't actually see whether that's up the right way or not. I think it is. Just pulled my glasses down and yeah, it is up the right way. I thought, oh, I've probably put it upside down and now the writing's all, you know, up the wrong way. But no. Mm, it's oval. I just, you know, I'm just looking at scraps really that are laying about on the desk thinking, you know, can I use anything on here? So. Yeah, just pulling in anything, anything that's laying about, it's it's in danger of being used. So I've got this gorgeous green lace. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? And I'm also thinking we might be able to have a little tassel or something on here. Just got this um, label, which is turquoise, so. I thought that green um, lace was going to be brilliant, but actually it might just be that's too green. You know, because obviously the swirly pattern from that marbling is actually really more blue turquoise, isn't it? It's not it's not really green at all. So yeah, I might have to might have to rethink the ribbon, I think. <clears throat> right, love that label there. So let's just pop that label down. Okie dokie, like that. Okay, 
<clears throat> and then I have got some fabric here, which this might be quite nice. It's, it's a little bit perhaps dull um, compared to the blue that's on the other bits, but let's just see how it would look. So I'm just going to <clears throat> tear a sort of edge off, I think, and then just see if we could just ruffle it with the glue. So let's just go for this. A bit like we do with the sari silk. Oh my goodness, look at what I've done. What a folly. Although, to be honest, that looks quite cute, even like that. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. So, yep, let me go again. Did I tear it? Maybe I tore it the wrong way, because sometimes, you know, there is a right and a wrong way, isn't there? And if you tear it against this sort of natural grain of the fabric, that's when that happens, I think. So, yeah, obviously that's what I've done. So I've torn it the other way, and now it's gone much better. Oh, that's quite cute. Yeah, I do really like that fabric on there, actually. Yep, very, very, very cute. So I think what I might do is have to stitch this round on the sewing machine first and then put that fabric on there. So I'm just going to put that to one side. We'll stitch that on the sewing machine in a minute. So let's pull in, <clears throat> pull in another one. So for this one, I thought, let's cut this in half. Again, I have um, coffee dyed this. So yeah, it's no longer got the sort of stark white underneath showing and then I thought we'll just literally because like I say it's very very thick paper we could just make a couple of pockets so by folding obviously the edges in so that one now do I want it this way around or do I want it as a long pocket Should we have it as a long one now, I am going to trim these down, the bits that I've folded in, because otherwise they're gigantic. And I'm also going to come in on one of the edges. So, oh, decisions, decisions. Do I want to come in here? So let's just have a look, if we cover that up, that's how that would be, or that way. Yeah, probably want to come in this way. So I'm just going to bring this right in like that. Okay, squish that down. Okie dokie, right, let's cut this down. off and then we'll just cut this edge down as well because this is pretty thick at the moment okay now I'm going to just take these in slightly just so that when it's bent round on the page it's less bulk and less to show you know against the top of the pocket if that makes sense so just cut that bit down there and that bit down there okay and we were, we were going to have this as a tool pocket, weren't we? So I put it the wrong way around on the desk, which is why I was looking a bit strange. So like that, I'm thinking, yep, yeah, that looks good. And now which book image am I going to use? So let's just have a look and see what I've got here. So I've got some more from that same children's book. Oh, how cute. How cute is this one? So... Now, I don't know how this is going to look because this is really a landscape picture and it's now a portrait pocket, so it might look really strange, but let's give it a try. Well, it's not too bad, to be honest. I thought it was going to look worse than that. Let me just see. Obviously, this would be too wide for a book, but yeah. I think, actually, it looks quite nice like that. So, because it's not the expected way to have it, there's something quite nice about that, I think. So, yeah. Let's just ink that up. Now, do we like it that way up or this way up? Maybe this way, actually. Now, I wonder if this fabric will go... Mm, it's probably not that good, is it, to be honest? Um, 
just having a quick sort of scout around the desk like to see what else have I got here just laying around I've got this lace the lace feels quite grown up doesn't it compared to the image I don't know whether I'm the only person who thinks that but I feel like the lace is a bit sort of grown up for that image that that lace is a bit better now what happened to that weird this weird bit that I tore off I'll just see whether we could get away with this and the the lace something like that now what if we put the tassel on because then I'm thinking you know we're then incorporating the colors that are on this um fabric well I don't know um I think we need some other bits in the background here so let's see what paper I've got laying around here well I have got some of this which I could maybe tear and bring in either there or let me see if I have it under the lace oops like, oh my goodness like that somehow I mean that's quite nice isn't it because it's just toning it down and it's bringing in that bluey green that you know I'm trying to get in for that fabric so let's just glue this one down So sorry that I'm having to be so messy with my fingers here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I should have changed that lid of that glue. Okay. Okie dokie. And this here. Yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? So just put some of this on. this out okay so yeah that looks nice doesn't it and then what we can do is obviously you know use this little scrap so I mean it's good because we're actually making use of this tiny scrap that otherwise maybe I would struggle to use it anywhere so I'm just going to run a bit of glue straight down the edge here like that Oops. like that and then here I'm just going to put this bit of lace as well now probably need to go this direction otherwise it was going the other way to the natural curve of that fabric so let's hot glue this lace down let me know below have you made some marble papers of your own if you did did you use that shaving foam method yourself how did they turn out did did you like them you know have you managed to use them anywhere I mean it's a fun process it was very messy if I recall and um yeah we, we did get quite messy but we did have a lot of fun there was no yeah no getting away from that it was very fun and obviously my daughter thought it was really good fun because you know she loves 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 anything that's a little bit on the messy side so yeah she definitely really enjoyed it um but yeah we I don't think we've done it since I can't remember whether we just did it once or whether we did it twice actually do you know I'm actually thinking this one is better the other one feels like it's a little bit too too dark on there uh, hmm. I don't know now. You know, just seeing whether we can pick up any of the colours there. 
this is a very um scrappy scrappy wax seal that yeah it's obviously seen better days not obviously just made a terrible job of making it but actually it looks okay and weirdly it looks quite good on here being um being misshapen i don't know why why that would work quite well on this but yeah it seems to work quite well doesn't it um just hmm. see do we want to have anything else around on here uh, family mm -hmm. really chilly really chilly today so i've still got my jacket on you know from doing the school run I'm not actually taking it off it's so cold i mean it's probably not as cold as i'm as i'm making out but yeah i feel pretty chilly to be honest i think just you know seems to have come suddenly the um rubbish weather so All right Mm. Just have a look and see. Uh huh. I don't know if I could have a bow or anything. Mm. And as as per so often the case, you know, I've obviously got loads of bows here, and of course not the right colour, not the right one, not the right size, <laughs> just just not right in any way, shape or form. It's just so typical, isn't it? You know, you can have all these tons and tons of things and still not quite the right thing. Actually, I do quite like that. Although, maybe not over there, because then we're just covering up all that pretty fabric, aren't we? I quite like it there, to be honest. I wonder if we should have the... Oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? Maybe I will get rid of the tassel. Oh, that is cute. Yeah. I think I'm going to have it like that instead. So, yeah, let's quickly glue this down. Like that. And we'll just glue that wax seal down on top. Like I say, I mean, this wax seal, my goodness, it's, it's barely worthy of the name wax seal. I mean, it looks so awful, doesn't it? So misshapen, but it does still work and it still looks good, doesn't it? So, yeah. Okay. Let's put this down here. Oh, how cute does that look? love that pocket that's so so cute isn't it yeah really really sweet yeah really really happy with that one that's so gorgeous right let's do the other one so i've got this little piece of paper left so yeah should we do another one of those so let's do it now let's bring the sides in again so this one like that Oops. Oh, come on like that. Squish that down. Okay. And yeah. Right, now I'm thinking we want to have this smaller, don't we? Because we want it to be a much smaller pocket. So yeah, I have to bring it in here. And just hope for the best now. Right, let me snip this off because this is huge. Okay, and we'll snip this one off too. Now let's decide which way up do we want the pocket. Do we want it this way up or do we want it that way up? So let's see what picture we're going to use. Oh, this one's a cute one. Oh, that's quite cute as well. No, let's use this one. So just tear this down. Oops. Okay. Honestly, I bought all those different book images and we've ended up just using these children's books. But they are 
really cute, aren't they? I think we're going to go with the blue, the blue side. So, just want to snip this down slightly because this is not very straight at all, as usual. I've made a horrible job of cutting it. Oh my goodness! And continuing to make a horrible job of cutting it even now. Uh, okay, right. And then I'm just going to fold this up, and then we can obviously, you know, take this down and make it a bit better. So. Yeah, does that look okay? It had to come down slightly here. Okay, right. Right, okay, squish this down. Okie dokie, and I'm just going to snip across here. Like that, okay. And then let's just take these corners and do the mitering of the corners like that. and then this one here and again you know this corner top top corner business you know that's optional I just think sometimes they can show you know when it's folded round like that and it's stuck on the page they can show if they're square so it's just kind of um, you know if I remember really a case of if I remember, I do try and trim them in just because it, you know, helps them to stop showing really. Oh my goodness, how cute does that look? Really super cute, isn't it? Now, thinking should we go for another bit of this fabric? So, right, can I, can I remember which way down I tore this? Could it be this way? that was lucky wasn't it right so yeah thinking we could just like sort of ruffle a bit of this maybe either the bottom or the top not sure but again think I might have another little bit of this background paper from the book just because this is a really good colour match to that fabric so it's just kind of bringing that colour in isn't it so yeah, let's pop this down. Okay. Oops. Okay, okay. Right, pop that on there, like that. Okay, let's mop up the desk. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's pop that down. Yeah. Right, now, obviously we're going to have the little teddy bear in here. And let's just get him glued down. I always do find it quite um, helpful to, you know, at least get some bits glued down. I know I've said this lots of times before, but it just kind of saves me moving them around because all the time I can move them, of course, I do move them. So, you know, by just actually committing to something and having it glued onto the page, it just kind of lessens the amount of fiddling around that I can do then moving things about. So, yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks cute, doesn't it? And then we're going to have this little ruffle going across, I think, at the top. Or we could have it down the side. Let's just see. Just see with that. Now, just wondering whether we could have another bow on this because that looks very cute there, doesn't it? Well, that looks quite cute there. Um, do you know, I really liked the look of that wax seal in the middle of that bow. Let's just see whether I've got another one that would look sort of all right on there mm, i'm not sure about that that's not really not really the right color is it oh definitely not that one mm. oh. it's a bit of a shame and that's kind of too big it's you know then covering up all the bow and then the bow loses its identity a little bit oh, i've got another weird misshapen one there that's not the right colour. Mm. That's not too, too bad. 
I don't know, do we think that's getting a little bit cluttered? I mean, it's got quite a lot of stuff going on on there, hasn't it? Yeah, perhaps, perhaps we will not do that on this one. Uh, let me just see what else I've got. So, hmm. Hmm. Just seeing what else I've got here at the side of my desk that I could use. Got my bright butterflies. I'm sure that these are not the right colour, any of these. Hmm. Right. Oh, again, just find myself thinking, I must now print some more off. I've been saying that for weeks and weeks now. So it really is high time I do. Oh, but I have got these butterflies from the um, Taperology stuff. So should we give one of these a try, maybe? Yeah, one of these might be better, actually. These are vellum butterflies. They're actually stickers. Um, but we could use them not as stickers. We could just, you know, use them stick them down with the sticker back in if you see what I mean still on them mm, not so sure now mm, maybe they're not quite right after all yep I mean it's always worth trying isn't it but you don't know until you try sometimes okay right I'm going to have to look back through these book plates I was really hoping I had one of the duck egg ones oh, I've got one down here oh gosh no that's not the right colour. That wasn't a duck egg one as it happens. It was uh, much brighter than duck egg. But I couldn't see it properly in the um, little file folder. So it looked duck egg until I pulled it out. And then obviously I realised my mistake. Realised it wasn't duck egg at all. Oh. Why? Why do we have all these things and never the right thing? It's so annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Sometimes I just think, oh, give up, give up, better off, you know, just not having any of it in the first place. And then um, you have to kind of make do. Okay, let's try this one. I don't think this is going to look right, but we'll just see. It's not too, too bad. but Because, I mean, we have got the green in the fabric, haven't we? So... That's what I'm kind of thinking is, you know, picking up some of the green in the fabric. Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is very frustrating. Uh, just hunting around to see if there's anything else that I've got here that would sort of work on this bit. Um, mm, not really. Not really seeing anything so far. Oh dear. Right, let me try one of these. No, definitely, definitely no. Um, oh, so annoying. I've got one of these little, um, you know, file folder tabs. Oh gosh, it's so tiny I can't actually now fold it round, to be honest. Oh, and this is why I just don't do tiny things. Honestly, I mean, some people are so brilliant with tiny things, aren't they? Not me. Not me. It's, it's not good. Oh, dear. Not good at all. Right, let's try that. You know, just to kind of have a little bit of detail on there, and also it's going to just bring that sort of bluey green colour in a bit more. Oh, I don't think that looks right either. Oh gosh, what is going on here? Hmm. I wonder if I could have it sort of midway through there. I've never done this before, I don't think. But I'm thinking, could I actually have the ruffle at the midway rather than on the edge? Should we try that? Oh, let's give it a try, shall we? Uh, right, I'm going to have to start it at the top. Just in case I don't have enough fabric, it's going to look weird if it's ruffled from the bottom, but it won't look so weird if it stops at the bottom, if you see what I mean. You know, if it tapers off and there's not quite enough left, it's going to look a lot less weird if it's like running from the top and then doesn't have it on the bottom. But yeah, I fear it would have looked really rubbish the other way around. So I'll do that. I quite like that. 
So I'm going to just literally glue this down now, like without a ruffle, so it's now hanging off, hanging off at the bottom, because I think that looks quite, quite nice. Now, do we want to have the file folder tab on here or not? Maybe not. What about the bow? Mm. I mean, that's quite cute. The only thing is the pocket would have to go quite high on the page to, you know, make sure that it's not hanging off the pocket. So just see if I can try a different one. Mm, the brown's not great, is it? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's just have a quick look here. I'll just see if I've got any smaller ones in that sort of similar colour green. Because that green did look good, didn't it? It was a good colour on there, but just not a good size. Mm. And the brown, of course, yeah, better size, not a great colour. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Well, isn't that just annoying? Again, you know, just typical, isn't it? Always, always the way. Right, let's put those out of the way. So we've got the book plate. Now, do we think the book plate looks okay on this? It doesn't look too bad, does it, to be honest? I mean, it wouldn't have necessarily been, you know, my piece of choice. Piece of choice? You know, yeah, the, the piece I would have chosen to have on here. But it looks okay. So, yeah, let's get that one down. Okie dokie. Right, okay. Now I'm going to take that original piece, the first piece that we made, I'm just going to knit that across to the sewing machine and just quickly sew around it just here. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back from the sewing machine. So I've literally stitched it down those two edges. So this edge and the bottom edge there. Now I'm just going to ruffle that fabric across here on this top bit because I think that looks really pretty on there. Now I'm hoping that I've got enough fabric here to go right the way across. Pretty sure I have, but you never can quite tell, can you? Till you actually get started. So there you go, and then okay. That's it. And then just press that down. Oh my goodness, how cute does that look? So, just going to take those threads off there. I think that was my son. He's just um, got back because he's doing his um, A-levels. You know, he he's coming and going at sort of different times. So, right, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? And then I just dug out one of those pretty bows. So, these... Um, I, I hope these are in my shop at the moment, but they may be that they're all gone by now. Um, but yeah, we should just pop this one down on there. And depending on obviously how these types of bits have gone in my shop, then I might get some more and have a bit of a restock. But like I say, I mean, and, you know, I don't know how they will have gone. So it just depends really. But how cute does that bow look on there? I mean, I don't think that really needs anything down the bottom at all. Um, that being said, I will just double check with this little label. So let's just take that down like that. Oops. Yep, it's, um, I can hear him now going through the fridge. <laughs> he's had like one lesson and so now he's come back. It's, yeah, quite early, I suppose, just on 10 o'clock. So he's, um... Oh, now I can hear him going through all the saucepans, so he's obviously going to make himself some breakfast. Honestly, I mean, how he actually gets on without breakfast is beyond me, but you know what teenagers are like. You can't tell them. No, no, I don't want breakfast. Oh. So, yeah, my daughter now, she's also doing that. No, no, I don't want breakfast. I mean, oh, my goodness. Oh, maybe on this, this side, I think. So just literally just there. Okay, like that. 
Oh, how super cute does that look? So, and obviously then this one just opens out and you could obviously put some, um, you know, uh, coffee dyed paper there or something, you know, for journaling on. I mean, to be honest, it's pale, so you could journal on there anyway. You don't even need to put any paper there. But yeah, it just depends kind of how you like to finish it off, really. Um, you know, with the paper or without, we'd all be fine. Um, could have some baker's twine or something around the middle to tie it up. I don't know really whether it's necessary, but let's just see what colour I've got. Mm. Mm, nothing really that's going to look great, I think. I've got yellow. Yellow's not too, too bad. So, yeah, I mean, again, optional, really, extras, but, you know, could obviously have some baker's twine going around there just to tie that up. Like that. And then, obviously, that would then just, you know, glue down on a page in a journal as a little sort of side pocket. I would kind of glue it on, th you know, three sides. Obviously, if I was keeping the twine, I would glue the twine down. And you'd have a side pocket then there, undo the twine, and then you've got your journaling space inside. And then obviously we've got these couple, which actually now I'm thinking another little bow on there would look really cute, wouldn't it? So let me just grab, grab a little bow. Oh, I think the grey, the grey bow looks quite pretty, doesn't it? So yeah, that looks really pretty. Now, do we want it at the bottom or at the top? Or somewhere else completely? I think maybe at the bottom. Yeah, let's do that. So, oops, now my hot glue gun's got my wipes stuck on it. Okay. It just needed something else, I felt, this one. And actually that bow just is, is perfect, isn't it? It's just finishing it off. Just, um, just the missing piece that it was needing, I think. So, yeah, that's that's that one so just trim off my threads and obviously we've got the tool pocket as well so I mean they're just super cute aren't they and we've just used up then you know a couple of book images that obviously were just laying around in my stash and um obviously used up those marbly papers so well used a couple of them I've still got some more but yeah I hope that you like them and maybe it's inspired you to get out your marble papers and your book images and just have a bit of a play around and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.